Hi guys, welcome back to our online distance learning. As I said in the earlier videos, the purpose of the videos is to determine the most critical rivet, which that rivet has high possibility to fail first. This is the last step to determine the most critical rivet. But before we begin, you have to make sure that you have already gone through all three previous steps. Then you may continue to learn on this video. This is just a simple step because you have already learned in statics and strength of materials. First, we go for one by one rivet. Starts from rivet A. We just calculate the total shear forces in horizontal axis and the total shear forces in vertical axis. It is doesn't matter, you want to assume which direction is positive direction, but you must decide it. Then you may calculate the resultant of horizontal and vertical shear forces to get the resultant shear force at rivet A. After that, we calculate the shear force acting on rivet A by dividing the resultant shear force at rivet A with the area of rivet A. Since we have given the diameter of rivet A, then we may calculate the value of cross-section area of rivet A. So the shear stress on rivet A is 34.55 MPa. Then proceed to the rivet B. Calculate the total shear forces in horizontal and vertical axis and get the resultant shear force at rivet B. And use the value of resultant shear force at rivet B to determine the shear stress value at rivet B. Then proceed to rivet C by repeating the same steps to get the resultant shear force at rivet C. Use that value to determine the shear stress value at rivet C. Then do the same steps for rivet D. You will get the resultant shear force at rivet D. Then determine the shear stress value at rivet D. Next, to get clear view, just substitute all the values of resultant shear force and shear stress on each rivet into the table. The highest value of resultant force will be the most heavily loaded rivet. In this case, rivet D is the most heavily loaded rivet. The highest value of shear stress will be the most critical rivet. In this case, rivet D is the most critical rivet. So, we can conclude that rivet D has high possibility to fail first due to shear stress. That's all about the rivet chapter. Hope you guys understand and thank you for watching.